What's up guys, this is Matt Watson and I'm here today to show you how to display your favorite poster without damaging it so that you too can have the coolest room in your parents' basement. This is a DIY project, so just use this video as a guideline and put your own spin on it. Let's do it to it. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt Watson comedy! I've included these details in the description, but here's a picture of everything you'll need to make this happen. A drill, four screws, some wire, black paint, a paint brush, and a roll of transparent plastic made to cover tables. The four pieces of wood I'm using are three quarter inch thick and two and a quarter inch wide, but you can use whatever, as long as their length measures longer than the width of your poster. Three other things that aren't in this picture that help me complete this project are some hockey tape, two tiny hooks, and my mom. I measured the length and width of my poster, adding an inch to each, then cut out that rectangle shape and repeat this step twice, so in the end you'll have two pieces of rectangular plastic. My poster is 20.5 inches by 15 inches, so I cut out 21.5 by 16. That extra inch on the height is where you'll be clamping your wood so it'll hang good and the extra inch on the width gives you some play for when you inevitably screw up. Learn from my mistake and use something straight to mark these lines so you don't have to redo your cuts like an idiot. Find a way to hold the poster in place using paper clips, clothespins, or even the dictionary, because in this day and age, it'll be thrilled to be used for something. Then I cut my four pieces of wood to the width of the poster plus an inch. So for me, again, poster's 15, so I cut 16 and then I painted them black. I see a piece of wood and want to paint it black. I'm not careful, now my hands are also painted black. I was surprised that the two pieces of plastic were slipping out of the tightly screwed together wood. So I added some Canadian flair and reached out to my brother John and traded him hockey tape for a bottle of maple syrup. Put one piece of tape on each side of the plastic to bind them and screw the boards back together clamping the tape plastic and she'll stick just fine. I hammered in two tiny hooks where the top boards meet to make a place to mount the wire. From here, I carefully searched for a stud on the wall to put the screw in, drilled, and completely missed it, but chose to hang up the poster there anyway. Another great thing about this design is it's reversible. So you can put in two posters back to back and you'd be guaranteed you're the coolest guy in your parents' house. And that's it. All you gotta do now is give this video a thumbs up, tell a friend how you made this awesome poster hanger, and subscribe to the channel because in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be turning a cargo van into a camper van and the only thing I can guarantee in that DIY project is that it'll be entertaining. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next week. Come on, guys.